Well, I have the pleasure today to talk to Tom Johansson, who's been the Secretary General of the uh, International Federation of Social Workers for the uh, last 17 years and is going to shortly be leaving us. But firstly, maybe I could just say something about myself, because I've known Tom for a very long time. Um, I've been involved in, in IFSW for uh, um, many years, I think since 1986. Um, when I, um, I was the Human Rights Commissioner for Africa, I was, I was living in Zimbabwe um, and also the Africa President at one stage during the 1980s and early 1990s. Um, and I've worked very closely with Tom. Tom came to Zimbabwe to help develop a social work project together with the Danish Association um, and the Danish Trade Union. Uh, over a six-year period, so I got to know Tom very well in Zimbabwe at that time. Um, I've now left Zimbabwe. I'm living in the uh, United Kingdom and I'm teaching social work um, at the University of Kingston and the master's program there. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, Tom, um, it's very good to talk to you today and explore and look at your experiences of being in the IFSW over these last 17 years. We're very, very appreciative of your, of your contribution and we are certainly going to, to miss you. Um, but firstly, perhaps you could just tell us a bit about the International Federation um, and tell us what the, um, um, about the organisation and its membership. Yes. <clears throat> The International Federation of Social Workers is a federation of organ national organizations for professional social workers around the world. And uh, at present, with membership in 90 uh, different countries, and with a total membership in the organizations of about 750,000, three quarter of a million social workers. So um, it's a federation that. Um, has existed since 1956. Um, it had a predecessor organization uh, that was formed in 1928. So therefore we can always uh, have some different jubilees based upon these two organizations. Uh, and it's always been an organization based on its dedication to human rights and to social justice and um, working to promote social work by linking and representing social workers. We are working um, as a non-governmental organization to a number of uh, uh, United Nations agencies uh, and different bodies. Um, we develop documents to support social work uh, in different areas and uh, we arrange conferences to give social workers around the world the possibility to meet and exchange experiences. So, those are some of the most important things we do in the Federation. Right, yes, there's quite a lot of activities there. Um, but tell us, Tom, how you got into the job. Yes, I, wa I was... Um, I'm from Norway. Yes. And uh, I, with my uh, uh, social work uh, uh, license from 1972, and following that, I worked for approximately 10 years in different social work positions in Norway, in child psychiatry, social welfare, family therapy, uh, child protection. And um, then I got along that more and more involved in Norwegian Association of Social Workers uh, in different positions. And um, in 1982, I uh, got a position as executive director in the Norwegian Association of Social Workers and uh, through that job got more and more involved in international social work, in, in, in uh, activities uh, within IFSW. I think my first meeting was in the very early 1980s. Yes. And uh, then I, uh, yes, I, I saw that as an opportunity uh, to, uh, to work on an international uh, platform. So uh, when the former Secretary General re resigned, uh, I, uh, and the job was advertised, I applied for it. And um, I think it was about 35 applicants from around the world. And it was a very long process. 
to decide. Um, I was job interviewed, I remember, uh, in connection with the World Conference we had in Buenos Aires in 1990. And I got uh, the job two years later in Washington DC yes. at the next World Conference. So uh, that is, um, yes, that's more or less how I got into the job. Yes, I, I remember the, uh, the search for the Secretary General at the time. It was quite uh, extensive and the whole process, as you say, went over some years. And you came with, uh, with very good international experience um, anyway. And uh, yes, maybe I should add also that uh, the former Secretary General, Andrew yes. Moravev Apostol, and his, his wife, Ellen Moravev Apostol, yes. who worked uh, together uh, in the IFS of the Secretariat until the end of 1992, they um, continued to be involved in IFS activities uh, over the years. Ellen still is, yes. uh, and, uh, and that's been uh, a very good support for me, especially in the first period, of course. I could yes. always rely on them and their experiences in different areas. Okay, Tom, well, just uh, looking back um, over the, the 17 years, you must have seen a lot of uh, changes. Can you uh, highlight any major developments that have occurred during that period? Well, we have expanded membership. I think we had 54 different countries when I started, now it's 90. Um, and expanded it to, to uh, yes, we are, uh, I mean, there are, I think the UN has 192 members or something like that. So there are still countries that we can, should link to, and yes. we are working on that, but it's been, been uh, very expanded during this period. And um, we have also tried to uh, reach out to um, social workers in general, uh, and uh, not only the leadership in the different member organizations. We have been very aware of not being a travel club for social work leaders that could go to exotic places yes, and yes. meet on a regular basis and have a nice time, but that we should really make the international cooperation yes. uh, available for, for social workers um, uh, all over. And, um, this, we have done this through a program we call Friends of IFSW, mm -hmm. where you can link up as an individual. Yes. And we do it through the conferences, and not least we do it now through our website, and which is uh, very well visited. And I think we have something like 40,000 uh, visits a month. So that is quite amazing. And um, our web provider is telling us that it's one of the, in the top 10%. Right. Uh, of uh, visited uh, websites in, in this country. So um, I think also uh, some of this progress that IFSW has made uh, has also been linked to the fact that we have been um, uh, hosted by uh, two different member organizations uh, mm -hmm. and uh, taken well care of uh, by them with a small secretariat. First in Norway, from 93 to 99, and then mm. since 99 uh, in uh, Switzerland. Okay, and um, any other significant changes you might like to highlight, and particularly perhaps the partnerships that IFSW has? Yes, we have, uh, I mentioned 1928, when, when the predecessor organization was formed uh, in Paris, uh, and that was a big conference, lasting for two weeks with 3,000 participants, quite amazing. Mm looking back. And then, uh, besides other predecessor, two other uh, global organizations were formed, the International Council on Social Welfare and the International Association on Schools of Social Work. And we still work closely with them in a number of different areas, conferences, publications, and so on. I think we have seen over this, uh, this, um, this time from, from the, the 1990s until today that the, the partnership with them has changed in, in, a, in that way that uh, we are now on a very equal basis. Mm. We sometimes so call ourselves the three sisters, three yes. organizations, because they are female dominated. Uh, and uh, IFSW was for a long time the, the small sister. And uh, we are not that anymore. Now we are equal sisters and, and working on, a, on the basis of uh, mutual respect and uh, appreciation. So that is certainly a change. 
Um, we have also, I mean, with the expanded membership and with, with, with reaching out more to, to ordinary social workers as far as possible, we have also more players in the federation than we had before. That's been a change. And I think we also have um, more professionalism in conference management than, yes. than, than we have had. Um, I just looked at, uh, at this and during my time we have had 26 major international conferences, some of them global, some of them regional, with more than 20,000 participants. So that is an important activity for the Federation. And what about uh, your own contribution, Tom? What, uh, what significant achievements do you think you have made over that period of time? I think I have made the Federation more visible. Uh, for social workers, it's more known than, than uh, before. And um, I think we have developed, uh, I mean, this is very much a teamwork with the many people in elected positions and, and uh, representatives of national organizations and so on. But we have, we have developed this concept of a World Social Work Day. Um, and uh, we have worked very um, uh, much on some core documents. A definition of social work, a renewed uh, ethical document, and uh, global standards for social work education. So that formed the basis for the, the whole concept we have of international social work. I would also like to, to look a bit at Zimbabwe. Yes. Uh, not only since you are coming from that country, but uh, that was a big project over time uh, with the Danish support and it was uh, building the capacity of the national organization in the country. And it was a very exciting project. To, I also could use my experiences building up Norwegian Association uh, in a very different uh, context. Uh, and that was, uh, that was um, some of the most exciting uh, event uh, or range of events I've been part, part of. Unfortunately, the political development in Zimbabwe sort of made it very difficult for the association there to continue its activities. But uh, that is another story. But it was certainly a very meaningful experience for me. Yes, and we, we certainly appreciate your contribution at the time, and we, we had hoped to have an international conference in, uh, in Zimbabwe, but of course that had to be abandoned due, due to the political developments. But the, the association did develop quite well during that period. Yes, I mean, that is mo mo one of the most difficult decisions I've been part of in IFSW was to cancel the conference in Zimbabwe that we so much wanted to have, but it, yes. it and we had some disagreements over that also at the time yes. uh, that we handled well, I think. But, uh, but uh, it became impossible to, s to see that it could happen the way we wanted it to happen with, with uh, um, the way the country developed politically. Okay, Tom, now I'm, I know that you worked very closely with your partner, Lisbeth uh, Matson for many years in the IFSW, and we all appreciated the contribution she made until her very, very sad death in 2004. But I just wondered if you could perhaps, you know, thinking back, um, maybe highlight some of the contributions that she also made. Yes, she started really working for IFSW uh, quite a long time before she, she got a paid position. Uh, that happened when we moved to Switzerland in 1999 and she became communications officer. But she participated in other conferences, assisted me in many, many ways, even if she had her own full-time work in Norway. And uh, that, so it started uh, a long time before her formal position. But she, um, she had um, uh, a very strong uh, commitment to social justice and to international cooperation. And uh, she came from uh, the southern part of Sweden. And as a very young person, she had Dag Hammarskjöld, uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations, who is also came from that part of Sweden as her big um, sort of uh, person to look up to. And so it was very meaningful for her then that 
to um, end her uh, career uh, as working with the United Nations uh, as a representative and supporting other U UN activities. Uh, she also had a closeness to people that I think uh, worked well. She was enthusiastic. Mm. She recognized people and when she, she met them again and, and could chat with them and make them feel comfortable. It's not always that easy to travel to another part of the world as a representative of your organization and be in very dif different circumstances. So she took care of them and, um, and she had also these language skills. Yes. Speaking a number of languages and having some knowledge of a number of others. Mm. So she could, um, that was very helpful, uh, even if, uh, I mean, you don't necessarily need to be fluent in Japanese to be able to communicate a bit with the Japanese, for instance. Uh, so, so, and that is appreciated. Uh, so, and she also, uh, being a professional journalist, uh, that was her job in Norway. Uh, before she uh, started working for RSW, then she also professionalized our communication. Uh, and so those are some of her important contributions. Yes, and uh, she should be very much missed, or she has been very much missed in the IFSW. I know many of, of um, um, our colleagues were very, very uh, distressed when she passed away. And I know that you have, uh, your, you, you as well, of course, uh, and that you have had to um, to continue uh, working without her, and we do, yeah, we, we do acknowledge and appreciate that. Um, you know, we are in the lucky position with the federation that we have a new communications officer uh, who has worked for yes. René Schegg, who has worked for I've you now for a year, and yes. uh, I think he's um, picking up on. Uh, Cooperation with people, closeness to people, professional communication, language skills, certainly, and, and right. uh, all based on the values of social justice and human rights. So we are, uh, we are now, um, I'm, I feel that um, very confident um, for uh, RFSW moving into the future now without me that we have Renee in the staff. Good. Um, Tom, um, can we also just think, um, uh, maybe what you've most enjoyed about uh, working for IFSW and maybe you could share one or two special memories from, uh, from, the, from the, the, the period that you'll be taking with you when you retire. Yes, basically um, meeting social workers from all over the world um, and see that despite very different contexts, very different working conditions, um, that we have a common base, that we share the same values, and that we can uh, communicate our experiences in a meaningful way and, and into uh, developing policies and, and so on together. That is, I think, uh, meeting all those people is certainly what I have enjoyed most. And see that uh, there is only one world Yes. And that the borders are not that interesting. We share the same planet. So, and many of those contacts have been uh, developed into friendships. And that is certainly something I appreciate. Um, it's been um, talking about special memories, I think. Um, visiting uh, the slum, slums in. Uh, close to Manila, in the Philippines, uh, called Smoky Mountains, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and looking at social work projects there. And also Kibera in, uh, in Nairobi, another slum. Um, yes. And that's been, uh, made a very strong impression on me. And uh, those are memories that, um, that uh, I will stay with me. So um, another thing I could mention is maybe the, what happened with the fall of the Berlin Wall and uh, the emergence, emerging social work in, uh, in the countries that belong to the Soviet bloc. Mm -hmm. And uh, many of those countries then entered into membership, Russia among them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were quite the social works were quite eager to learn something quickly about yes. how social work could be done. And I remember once going to Ukraine uh, and um, 
I had been there for two hours, I think, when I was interviewed by the local television there. And um, uh, the interviewer said, how do you think we should uh, do our social policy in this country? And that was the kind of concept that they had to just imitate um, yes. projects from Western Europe, for instance. Or just the US. adopt, uh, adopt, adopt Yes, but that is of course not possible. And mm -hmm. you have to, you can learn something from others, but you have to base it on your own circumstances. So uh, that was an interesting development also. And uh, as we see now that uh, social work is, uh, is developing very well in those countries. And man, many of them have traditions from uh, before the uh, Second World War also. Yes with the professional social work. Oh, uh, well, Tom, maybe we could just take that a bit, uh, uh, a bit further in terms of the changes and challenges that IFSW are likely to face in the future. Can you tell us something about that? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we need to stay relevant. We need to be mm -hmm. an organization that is meaningful for social work. Mm -hmm. I think that is, uh, that is an ongoing challenge, really, uh, because you have to renew yourself all the time. And uh, we live in an information society where um, the access to information is much higher than before, but also the demand for access is much higher than before. So uh, we think we need to live up to that and, and be there and be where people would like us to be in terms of what they need to access to. Yes. I mean, it used to be, uh, not so many years ago, you took your um, graduation as a social worker and you worked in your own country for, uh, for the rest of your life maybe and with a population that also uh, was uh, quite uh, homogeneous and uh, now it's, that is very different. Partly you have um, much more mixed populations in so many countries than you had so you have to relate to different cultures you have to uh, often social workers would like to work in another country for a while, or they work um, based in their original country, but in international contexts with projects and so on. So we need to we need to facilitate that. We need to. There is often a question about licensing, about uh, having the possibility to to take a position as a social worker in another country, and we really need to to be able to give people the instruments that they need to fulfill uh, their professional um, aims. I think also that um, we, should, uh, we should concentrate our efforts um, within the Federation. To, we should do what we are uh, good at and we should uh, not... It's a, after all a rather small organization, yes. even if it sounds great. And uh, we, should, we should focus and we should, I think also it's the, always discussion within almost any organization, how much do you do externally, how much do you do internally. And I think we certainly should be more focused on external activities than on internal processes. Yes. Yes. Uh, Tom, do you have any views about the, the future of social work today and the direction it needs to take? I presume you do. Perhaps you could let us know. Yes. Um, I, I think I mean, we have seen we have seen a political development uh, during this decade, where there is weakened uh, public support for social welfare, weakened mm. public and uh, political support for social welfare, and an eroding of programs and so on. Mm. And I think that we, as social workers, need to counteract that. We need to we need to make sure that. Um, social work is heard and seen and I think that is something that uh, we are not always as, yes. as good at as we mm. should be to inform uh, mm. the public and, and the policy makers mm. about what we are doing as a profession and, uh, and what problems people are facing. So uh, that, is, that is something that um, I think is the only way mm. to to uh, work on the public support for social work, uh, social welfare in, in a broader context. And, uh, but on the other hand, hand this, this rather individualistic uh, orientation that we have seen develop in many countries may now 
we also see now that with the increasing awareness of environmental concerns and uh, yes. uh, global warming and, and mm -hmm. uh, all that, that there is also uh, another culture uh, uh, mm -hmm. where, we, where people uh, uh, acknowledge that we are all in this together and that we, uh, that's more mm -hmm. a solidarity project. So yes, yes. Those two tendencies live uh, side by side, mm. and it's very difficult to say uh, where it will take us. Mm. But uh, I think we should we should try to to uh, uh, think about social work as as part of the solution, not as part of the problem. Yes, and we should should also see the changes mm. that are happening as um, something that's not happening to us, but something mm. we can influence. And that we need to take, uh, yeah. we need to take charge of change to to get forward. Yes, I suppose at times social work has been seen as a as a marginal activity, but I'm, I wonder whether you feel it's becoming much more a mainstream activity, more significant. In the I world think today. it's more it's more mainstream, and uh, and I I remember as a very newly educated social worker in Norway. My, my, my partner got a, a job as a psychologist mm. in a small society in the western part of Norway and we were thinking about moving there. Um, mm. and, um, but I, I, I also needed that job. So I asked uh, the person in charge of uh, the social welfare mm. office in this uh, small municipality if uh, they needed a, a professional social worker. Yes. And he said to me, uh, in fact, he said to me that, no, no, we don't, we don't want that. We have problems enough already. Yes. <laughs> because, I mean, the profession was seen as politically quite radicalized and yes, so yes. on and so on. I don't think that would happen to no, me. It no. wouldn't. It's much more mainstream now. Okay, now, Tom, um, how would you like to be remembered in IFSW after this long period of time, looking back at your contribution? I... I think I would like to be remembered as a facilitator, somebody who has, um, has uh, made it easier for people to communicate, to mm -hmm. get together, to work together. Mm -hmm. And um, I, uh, I got this, uh, this uh, a wonderful letter from our uh, biggest member organization, the one in the United States, just a uh, short mm -hmm. time ago uh, in connection with my early retirement. And they focused very much on, on that part of uh, uh, the role of the IFSW Secretariat and what it, what it should do and, uh, and what, what they need that, uh, need that we do. So um, I, I think that is the way I would like to be um, uh, remembered and also as somebody who has tried to be inclusive. Yes. Um, in relation to, to the social work community. I have uh, one of my, my uh, um, favorite quotes is from uh, the former U.S. President uh, Bill Clinton, who said in an mm. article uh, that uh, the whole course of human history can be seen as a constant struggle to expand the definition of who is we and to shrink the definition of who is them. And this is, yes. uh, this is the quote. And this is, the, this is in reality, a peace uh, project. Yes. Uh, so I, uh, I hope to have contributed to more understanding and international cooperation. Oh, well, thank you, Tom. Um, I, I know that I'm going to miss you, and I'm sure all, all, all our colleagues in IFSW also will. We uh, have many memories of you being involved in uh, many different parts of the world and different projects, different activities. And we remember your commitment to IFSW and the changes that have taken place during this period of time you've been Secretary General. Um, so I'd like to thank you very much for the contribution you made and the commitment also of Elizabeth. Um, and we're going to remember the, uh, the, times, the times we had together and the achievements that, uh, that you made. So thank you very much for being in, our, in IFSW and being involved with uh, social work. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you very much.